to our YouTube channel. So I'll be showing you how to use Spotify yeah, to handle all your network connections. You can see we already have here some connections going on. I already have a profile called Smile, so I will create a new one and we'll start from there. So let's say new profile. And this new profile, we have no rules except for default. And in default here, we have a direct connection. So any application heading for this target, the local host 127.0.0.1 or my computer device name. So every connection heading for this target uh, under the rule direct. So we'll say OK to that by default. Now, if we want another app to use any particular proxy, we have to set the proxy up first, then start setting up the rule. So I start to set up the rule now, you'll find out there is no sorry, there is no option for that. Whether you have direct or block. So you have to set up your proxy servers before you set up the rule. So I already have some servers running my multiple icons as you can see down here. So what I'm gonna do is pick one of them first. Example. So we come here and say first these servers and we say add. Now since it's local host, we can use local host or we just use one two seven one. So I have one of them uh, listening at what, 1990. So I do that and I select the type of server. So now I'm using HTTPS, so I'll select HTTPS, depending on the kind of server you use. And you can say check. You know if it's running. Up and running. Okay. This is connection established. Let's pass. It works trying to connect with the internet right now to see if you can get anything out of it. So since that's not currently on, we can do that because it's working. And then we say OK. And we set that up to the or default server. Advanced here, you can mask it if you want. Since you don't have authentication, you can leave this out. Here you can give the server a label instead of the IP, you just say test. So it's come back and label that test. So again, since in the first proxy you're setting up, you want to set it up as a default rule for every connection. Let's see, yes. And we say OK. So now, if we move over here to so here we have a proxy service, which we already set up. We have proxy station rules. Like you can see now, we set our test as our default server. When that thing going to look at host, it's going directly. You can also change this now that you have a spare option. We'll leave that and then I say OK. And then we go to name resolution. Now at this point, you're telling the computer, do you want to resolve addresses to IP address from your system DNS or to the service server you've created? So if you want it to go to the process server, you remove this and you mask it alone. You say OK, you notice that down here it changed from system DNS to um proxy, DNS to proxy. Now we see that. So whenever I ask the system to get me to a website say Google, it will need to get the IP from my proxy So now we have Google. But this IP of Google is now resolved by our DNS, it's resolved by our proxy server. So the issue here is if the proxy server does not support name resolution, you're going to have issues. It's not going to be able to browse. So you can set that to if you want to use your system DNS. And I'll say yes. Or better still, you can see my put them up and it will still go back to the same DNS. Whichever way you prefer, it works.
So next we move on. And we say profile advanced. Now you can choose to encrypt connect password if you want for to lock your profile. But you can also choose which connections you want to prefer to handle. Applications run by other users on this computer and as well as services. Windows services and so on. Maybe if you want to block a particular window, so from updating or so you can see that and when you click OK now, you see that it also monitors services that were no longer they were not there before, sorry. And even direct connections. Okay. Now the problem is it's trying to pass Siphon to Siphon and that won't work. So I'd have to do something here to make an exemption for Siphon itself. So I'll copy I have to copy this address, this um, sorry, app name. Copy it and come over here. Notification rules, add new. Add new. So this type one and paste it. Now what do I want to do? I say direct go directly. So okay. So now type one can connect directly without any hindrance. So yeah, you can have multiple profile and save many as much as you like for different different connection regions. You can just switch between them when you want. A single profile. I have mile already, so just one. So I can also move over here. If we're done with this, yes, infinite loop detection. So like earlier, if I let it continue on its own, it will keep turning into so iPhone to iPhone over and over again and essentially tell me Oh, there's an infinite loop here. I need to create an exception for that. Like, but I've already handled that. Now I click direct connections here. So any connection that's not supposed to go to Siphon and just go directly to still monitor it now. Next, we see is the bottle for name resolution. Let's just go. Now we go to log. In log. How do you want it to be? I, I like using the box. I can see everything that's going on. I can use verbose or I can use normal or you say whenever it has an error so what you want to see down here. So your preference. File log table. If you want it to log everything that keeps fighting over here in your know, file log so you can view it later. That's still up to you. And you can set it directly where you want to save over here. Select where you want to save it and you're good to go. I will create, uh, sorry, so the file will create a log for you and save it. Uh, this is just normal print in your logs and stuff. We're done with that. Next, you can resize your windows and set on what you want your disk to show. It's all good. The main thing you need to know is you can support them by buying their software. I'm not in the promo, but you can buy their software in the night one. Everything you really need to do with area around here is to very much manage your system for you. So those of you behind the proxy server and some of your apps can connect how they don't have a proxy um, setting. You can use Proxify to redirect them to a particular proxy and it will work fine. Thank you. So let's go back an example. If I load back my smile profile, um it didn't say profile with the name. So you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. I want to profile to be loaded, smile loaded. So when I see this, I said, these are my different connection rules I created. Okay. So I'm back to normal. Everything on my system works well. As you can see, I even have one for my ABG. Not that I usually have a fully setting, but I prefer. You just set it from here so I can change it into my user connection and stop going back to the antivirus itself. So, thanks for watching. Do make sure you like and subscribe. I will post more videos like this. Thank you.